Hi there, Alina from Exmate Master here, and I would like to show you how in Sketch you can frame a wall, show the wall, and then if you change a certain setting, you can make it a bearing wall and then a header will come across where you have a door or a window. So not many people know how to do this. I think that where you'll have the correct amount of material that will include the header uh, when they add the line items in Sketch. So I'll show you how it will auto populate and actually create all the framing for you. And then if you have a bearing wall, how that's gonna work so you get the correct material. So let's go take a look. So here I am in Sketch, I've already sketched some rooms just for a sample for you. And I would like to frame this wall. Let's say that a tree came through and destroyed the framing and this wall needs to be framed. What I can do is click on the wall itself and I'm gonna click on the whole wall, not just this one piece because I can hover and click on just a part of the wall like this. I'm actually gonna click on the whole wall is what I would like to do and select both. Then what I'm going to do is go into the properties of that wall, just like this, and drop them down. Now, the properties, they have different settings. So if we go to the construction part, we can drop down the list next to wall, and I can make it a framed wall. And then I can set up all the specifics according to the actual specifications of what I need for that wall. And that looks pretty cool. You'll see these little X's come up, and it's gonna be a pick list that you'll see. I'll show you here. Uh, like so, if I click on that wall, you should see the material pop up and then you see it in purple. So anything in purple has been added in Sketch, just like I've added it here. And it's auto calculating the pick list of all the framing that I'll need. Now let's go ahead and look at that in 3D and see what is that, what does that look like? Is it showing that there's a header or not? Well, we're gonna go to view and we're gonna go to framing. That needs to be checked off. So step one, we must frame the wall. Step two, we must show the framing in the view window here. And I'm just gonna hit my 3D key and it's gonna show me, no, there's no headers there. It's all open. Um, it's just a normal inside wall, non-bearing. So if I go back to the wall and go back to the properties, now that I've turned on the framing se section, it's gonna task me, ooh, is this a bearing wall? And I can put yes here. It is an outside bearing wall and I can Hit 3D there and you'll see that my material list, it should have added more material and you'll see the headers there above the window and the door. This doorway went to ceiling, that's why it's calculating it that uh, in that manner and it's a beautiful thing. So don't short yourself on materials if you wanna use these auto calculated sort of tools in Xactimate. Not only make sure that you've got your correct settings for wall framing, you know, what's on center, uh, what kind of headers do you want and all of that. You also need to show the bearing wall to see the header properties. So if I turn that back to no, that header property goes away. So that is an important piece to the puzzle if you're trying to show framing and have the correct amount of material calculated by Xactimate for your estimate and it's really fun tool to use, but gotta know where to turn on these settings and turn them off. So hope that was helpful for you that have to do a lot of framing in Xactimate, or if you run up against a job where, you know, a tree falls through a home, this uh, should be useful to you. My name is Alina Wilson with XM8 Mastery. For more information on what I do, you can go to xm8mastery.com. Hope you have a great week in your business and I will see you next week.